this is a, uh, I, I mean, yes, it, it could be called a good uh, cross-functional product team. Uh, next step <laughs> for this thing, like if you want to continue thinking about it uh, further as a product owner, with, with product owner thinking, you have internal clients, you have your own organization, I don't know, 1,000 people working in your organization internally, you guys build the best digital repository ever uh, for them. Next question that you will be asking as a product owner, okay, do we have other organizations in the world with similar needs, which I can sell to my digital repository product? <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. Uh, so, and it could be a spin-off. And a lot of a lot of products were born this way. So you start building something specific for your company, and then you realize that, hey guys, we are a bank. Are we? Yes. All right. Uh, do other banks have digital repository needs? Yes, they do. Are they similar to ours? Yes, they are. And by by doing this, sometimes the company spins off a startup, which will create a general version of the same. So they will reuse most of the code. Uh, they will make it more general, of course, So because your digital repository will be very tailored, very integrated with all your other systems. But um, the, the good product owner will always be thinking like this, like creating more value. I already created a lot of this uh, internally, other clients in the world who has similar needs, if the answer is yes, can I expand, right? Can I spin off and make my own startup <laughs> around this? And, and this is what good product owners are doing a lot of the time.